one of the reasons we're on lesson nine and one of the reasons I'm having trouble reconciling what's going on in the storefront is there's some irregularity to what's happening in the bays no matter how many times you do this you discover something each time so I'm, I'm going back to the uh, Google site so look look at what whoops look at what's going on here we have the alley, the tunnel, if you will, 13 feet across. We have the first bay, right? This appears to be an interval equal to the next interval because there are three windows above, three windows above, and that occurs all down the line. However, if you look closely at the window bays, we have one, two, three, four, um, curtain wall uh, panel sy systems, right? There's, there's four with a central mullion. And here we have one, two, then a mullion, three, four, five. Well, they're all mullions. This is something of a column of sorts. So we have a, kind of an unusual circumstance there. One, two, three, four, five some irregularity to that. That doesn't fall in the center of a window. Here it does. There it does. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there are different storefront pa panel conditions. The outer ones are identical. This one in the center is sort of a five gang set of windows. So that explains why we're getting why it looked different on the uh, AutoCAD underlay. So let's go back to the AutoCAD file. So now, okay, let's see if we can make sense of this. One, two, three, four, fine. And then begins that thing. And one, two, oops. Then one, two, the, uh, Pilaster column, then one, two, three. three. So there's three windows. Okay, so we can we get that. And then here, one, two, middle pilaster column, one, two. And finally, one, two, middle pilaster column, one, two. So let's accommodate with guides those elements. So from that guideline, I'm going to snap to let's make it the inside of that there. So I'm drawing, I suspect these are not the right size. This one's drawn a little more wide. One quarter there to there there to eleven inches. So there's some irregularity. And we'll, we may have to decide to make them. That's five, only five and a half inches, and then the window. So we may have to decide to standardize what those elements are going to be. Obviously this is much too narrow, this is a bit wide, and again if we go to Harrison Avenue, we perceive what appear to be identical steel columns that divide those windows systems. And then we have a strong, whoops, 
we have a strong horizontal element. We have a horizontal metal cornice above this whole mess. That we'll have to model somehow. Keep going back to that. Now I did measure at the site to the underside of those windows, so I have that written down here, some recorded dimensions. I had thirteen six. No. Seventeen five and then eighteen eight. So between this sill and the underside of the cornice, seventeen five and then eighteen eight. Notice it drops down right there. This is kind of a sketch up uh, forensics. Let's see what we can do about that. I think first what I'll try to do is standardize the thickness of these uh, stone pillars. One, two, three, four, and five. And let's see where that gets us in SketchUp. And then standardize the metal central uh, column or pilaster that divides them. So let's see if we can from here I'm going to hold that axis in place and just going to snap to the end of that. So here we get 110. Let's put some measurements on them so we can see what they're yielding from there to there. Really tricky to dimension in SketchUp if you don't have to. So we have 110 for that first one. The next one is way big. 3, 2. Let's just measure it anyway. Middle system. Two one. That's a little bit more believable. So I'm going to say that it's about two feet. That's dead on two feet. And then finally, well, I didn't put a guide here, but I'll me if I measure to the end of that two two. I I, th I think we can safely say that they they are two foot elements. So what will I do? I, let's. Let's measure it now in between and see what we have Oops. to develop our window system. We've got 14 feet 3 for the first. Endpoint to endpoint eighteen eighteen eight. So we'll have to check visually if we believe that that's actually so wide. Endpoint to endpoint seventeen eleven. All right, I'm gonna. Point intersection with seventeen feet here. Seventeen, eighteen, 
1814. I'm going to say that the, the, the two middle systems are about equal in width. Let's pause here and do some thinking, and then I'll pick up the video and let you know what I've theorized, what theory I'm proposing. So the guesses I decided to make was to place two-foot um, stone pillars in between the window bays. So I allocated that space, and now I'm making openings accordingly. I'm, I'm modifying the exterior wall group. So one, two, three, four. So I let those be the fixed point and then the rest of this is going to fall where it will. So let's see what happens when I Oh, and the very last window was taller in height to the underside of the floor above, but we're going to ignore that for now. Let's see if we push these to the inside face. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, there's a little bit of an inner section with stuff, so we're going to have to manually remove that, that back plane. So you see we have a little more thickness of wall here than we anticipated. So one thing we could do is simply bring out that, I, I can move that face which is essentially the same as push-pulling. So let's try that. Let's say it's irregular to that point. That's pretty good uh, in terms of, you know, sort of our, our best guess for what's going on with the storefront. I think we can develop the rest inside that. This is longer than I want it to be for lesson nine.